I realise I haven't actually put up a video in like four or five days um, and normally I put a video up like one day after another but this week I've just been like super super busy and the fact that it's Mother's Day today as well um, doesn't really help because I've been at work practically all morning so um, yeah but happy Mother's Day to everybody so um, today is going to be my March favourite um, there isn't really a lot of makeup, I don't think, um, and most of them are a few random things. So I'll go ahead and get started. They're not in any particular order. Um, my favourites never are, unless I decide I'm going to put them in an order. So um, i just go ahead and get started. So the first thing are these mini rings here that stop just above your knuckle. Um, this one is a flower and this one's a bow and um, normally I don't like wearing rings if I do they're normally like pretty huge ones I don't think I've got one um, out to show you um, but if you follow me on Instagram the rings I'm talking about are like that silver one that I've got that goes knuckle to knuckle or um, the leaf one I've got as well normally I like wearing those kind of rings but I've actually really liked to um, start wearing these ones recently and they're really really good these are actually from Primark they came in a set of three I can't find the other one which is usual because I can never find anything if I put it down so it's probably in a safe place so um, that was the midi rings moving on I have been loving this perfume this month. This is called Midnight Kiss. I found this in Primark. It was £6 um, and it was full up to here. So I have used a fair bit of it. It smells really really nice. It's not too floral, it's not too fruity. It's, it's kind of in the middle of the floral and fruity scent but it's really really nice and it can be worn both day and night because some perfumes are really just like night perfumes if you get what I mean but it does smell really really nice and for six pound you can't really argue and it's sim 50 mil as well so it's really really nice next I have this Nivea daily essentials regenerating night cream I love the Nivea skincare range anyway um, ever since I started using their skincare I haven't really looked back um, and I really wanted a night cream because I was using a day cream to just like moisturize my uh, face at night um, so I bought this one, it was actually on offer when I got it, um, I can't remember how much, but you really do not need a lot. I barely made a dent in this and it is really, really nice. It's um, not too heavy, whereas some night creams can be and it just sinks into your skin really, really well as well and leaves your face feeling lovely and soft and it is really, really amazing and I absolutely love it. Um, this next thing I've got is also from Nivea and it's the Sensitive 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. It looks like this. This is the second bottle of this that I've got. I've actually got another one as well as a backup and um, I'm quite possibly going to be doing an empties video soon because I am getting some stuff that is quite empty at the minute and um, this is really, really good. It's great for cleaning all of my makeup off. Um, and you can use it around your eyes as well which I find is really really helpful it's for sensitive skin which I do have well I have combination skin but sometimes it can be really really sensitive so um, this is really good it's free of parabens, colours and perfumes which is also really good it's actually got quite a nice smell to it it's um, grapeseed oil and it's got a really really nice smell to it but it's not overpowering and it's not really offensive but it is a really really good um, cleansing water and I do recommend it next is really a recent thing it's um, really these last two weeks that I've been using it and it's the Pro Formula Radiance Tired Eyes Roll On and this is um, a Tesco brand this is what it looks like and it's a metal rollerball on the ends 
Um, it is really, really good, and you just roll it under your eyes, and it helps with dark circles, and I do have a lot of dark circles. With working in a restaurant, sometimes I have to be up early to get there, and sometimes we work late nights, and um, I can get like really, really big bags under my eyes, but it is really, really good. Um, it doesn't smell. It's green tea and vitamin E complex. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It's got a little one, but it's not too overpowering. It is really, really good. I do recommend it. What you do with it is you just roll it on under your eyes and then just pat the um, remaining uh, product as well. But it is really, really good, and I do recommend it. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow palettes. Um, my three eyeshadow palettes of this month are all from Sleek. Um, and I was kind of introduced to these beginning of February and end of February roundabout. Yeah. Um, but the first one I bought was the Garden of Eden palette. I do like this one. I'm not overly fond of the matte green in it just because it's not really, really pigmented. And I really can't find anything to put it with. But it is a really, really good palette. I'll just show you the colours in it. I love the names of these palettes as well. There's the colours. And you've got a full size mirror as well. But the sleek eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. I was kicking myself because I honestly don't know why I didn't buy anything from them before because they are really, really good. And um, these next two palettes I bought off for Amazon. I don't know if they sell the. Um, bad girl palette in store anymore um, but this is what it looks like and I use this in my rock kick tutorial it is really really good the colours in this are so pigmented and the final one I've got is the vintage romance palette and I have done a separate tutorial with this as well and I tend to use it in quite or I've used it in quite a few in my tutorials recently and it is really really nice these are all the colours so you've got purples, gold, there's an orange is it orange? it's like a brownie orange um, there's a black, white but they are so so nice and really really pigmented and sleek makeup are just awesome anyway and like I said I honestly don't know why I didn't buy anything from them before um, while we're on the subject of sleek my go-to blush of this month has been this one this is the sleek blush in rose gold it is such a gorgeous color and it does actually make your cheeks look like they're glowing this is the color it's pink but it has a gold shimmer to it don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not but it is so gorgeous and again you get a mirror with it and it's just a beautiful colour definitely my go to colour for spring ok so moving on the next thing I've got is a tinted moisturiser and I tend to wear a lot of tinted moisturiser during um, the spring and summer um, but I do tend to wear a foundation like at night with like I said working at a restaurant I prefer to have a fuller coverage foundation at night um, the tinted moisturiser I've been using is the Witch Tinted Moisturiser, it's the anti-blemish one. Um, this is what it looks like, it's in medium so I do mix it with either another tinted moisturiser that goes with my skin or a foundation um, and it's really really good, I have noticed a big difference, I don't have as many blemishes and any blemishes that I do have are actually disappearing so I do really like it. Um, I found this one in Poundland, I don't know if I said that already, but it is really, really good and I do recommend it. Okay, so moving on, the next three things I've got are lip products. Two of them are the Hello Kitty lipsticks. I found these in um, Superdrug, I think they were one ninety nine each, and they are seriously awesome. I've got one of them on my lips at the minute, and the one I'm wearing is Underground Queen which is a very vibrant pink but with these lipsticks you can either build the colour up or just have a sheer wash of colour with them and they are really good and this next one I've got is Urban Punk which is kind of like a light nude 
that one there, if you can see that. Again, really good lipsticks, have a pretty awesome staying power to be honest. I've had these on for at least four hours maybe more, but um, I don't really tend to wear them for like four hours because sometimes I'll just get bored with the lip colour I'm wearing and just take it off and put like a lip gloss or something on. But they are really good, I do recommend them and like I said I found them in Poundland. Um, this next thing I have a love-hate relationship with, the reason it's in my favourite is because it's helped my lips so much because um, I get really dry chap lips no matter what kind of weather it is and um, this product's really helped with that. The only, and it's the Maybelline Baby Lips, this is the Intense Care one, so it's, sort of like, it's just a normal lip balm basically. And it's okay, the only thing I can't really get on with is when you put it on and leave it for a bit, it re leaves this really funny aftertaste, I find. But um, it's good, I do like it and it does help with my dry chocolate, so yeah. Okay, so these next four things are nail polishes and they're all from Barry M and as you guys know if you watch my videos, I absolutely love Barry M to bits. And, um, three of them are their new jelly high shine nail polishes i still don't know if these are their spring collection or not but um they're really nice pastel colors so there's a pink blue and um green this pink is rose hip and um like i said if you do follow me on instagram i posted a picture of this color with this color which is their textured textured nail polish in princess um, I put these, this one on these four and then put the uh, princess one on my uh, ring finger nail and it just looked really really nice and I love, I just love these two colours together, they're just like really really gorgeous. Um, blue is my favourite colour anyway and I just love this past, pastel blue. Um, it is such a gorgeous colour and like I said I love the barium nail polishes, these will last ages on me um, even when I'm waitressing and you're constantly carrying plates out you'd think they'd get chipped a fair bit but they don't and it's really really good. This one's huckleberry and then this one is sugar apple which is just a really nice gorgeous pastel -y green colour. And again, like I said, I love Barry M anyway, so yeah. Um, a hair favourite I've really been loving at the minute is the um, Tresemme Extra Hold Salon Finish Hairspray. I bought the little version because I wasn't real, because I wanted to try it out and I didn't really want to buy the big, um, what do you call it, big tin of it and um, hate it. But it is really, really good and it does keep all my flyaways in place. Um, I've just kind of like thrown my hair up in a couple of braids and put it in a bun today just, you know, for work and everything. But it is really, really good and I do like it. I'm not overly fond of the smell. In fact, it's not too bad. Um, I'm just not overly fond of it but I do really like it because it just keeps my hair in place and I have really big trouble with like my hair staying in place especially if I curl it they just fall out straight away so if I put a bit of that on it then it's okay. The next thing I've been loving is my elf eyebrow kit and to start off with this I only really use either like this one or this one but never both of them together but what I've started doing is using this side which is kind of like a waxy gel kind of thing and um, just to like outline my eyebrows would you say shape them something like that and then just been using the powder to fill in and um it's really really good it stays i like it and um i'm pretty happy with my brows you know i've been trying to get them to look okay um but yeah okay so these next thing are jewelry related things and um these are all like claire's earrings they've got an offer on at the minute um i think it's three for two but i've been really into ear cuffs because 
Um, what I find is is they look really nice and you can just like wear them at the top of your ear and you don't have to get your ear pierced which um, not everybody likes having their ear pierced I mean when I had mine they uh, mine done they just hurt for ages and um, so I've been really into these ear cuffs I've got these ones so this one's kind of like a butterfly and then there's like a different design and then just like three bars and then this one where we've got a bow um, I wore this one in my rock chick tutorial and the other one these three I'm actually wearing on my ear today and that one's got like little diamantes in it but it is really really good and it just gives you that look of having like your ear pierced there but without actually having it pierced so these next earrings that I'm also wearing and these are these little panda earrings now if you don't or if you're a new subscriber to me then um, hello first of all welcome to the Fallen Makeup Family thank you for subscribing I really do appreciate it um, like I said uh, if you've only just joined me if you've only just subscribed to me you won't know about my huge obsession with owls it's just kind of something that's grown over the past year and I've just fallen in love with owls um, but I also like pandas as well they're my two favourite animals um, so I've currently got pandas in today I also have some owl earrings and they're just so so cute um, and then I've got these really really cool earrings there, um, when we walked into the shop we thought they didn't have any because we couldn't see them but it turns out they were at the till and they're these fox earrings so um, with your normal earring you kind of like have the um, earring itself and then the back but with this one the head of the fox is the front of your earring and then you've got the body and the um, butterfly back that comes with the earring as well so what you do is you put the head in and then put the back in um, the body on and then put the butterfly one on and it just looks so so cool and I thought they were just they were just quite quirky and different and I really like different things and um, but it's just so cool and I have posted a picture of Instagram a picture on Instagram of these as well if you don't follow me on Instagram all my links are down below along with my Facebook Twitter and DeviantArt as well and finally these other earrings I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them because of the foxes are these heart ones and they've just got little diamantes along the side of it and they're just really really cute and um, I've needed some new earrings anyway because I have I just keep losing my earrings no matter what be they um, like dangly earrings or studs I just keep losing them and it gets really really frustrating when I want to wear a pair of earrings and I can't find any so um, that was earrings now I'll just I think I have one random favourite to be honest and that's this which is the Frozen um, soundtrack yeah it's the OST which is the original soundtrack um, so it's got all the songs featured in it and then all of the um, score as well which is kind of like the um, instrumental bits of it when they're not singing you know that kind of thing and this has just been on non-stop I know it's actually out uh, is it Monday which will be tomorrow because this video should be going up today um, but um, yeah it's just been on non-stop I can't stop singing it to it it's just really really good I haven't actually seen the film I really want to see the film um, so I might end up getting the DVD tomorrow but we'll never know it's just a really really good soundtrack it's great to sing along to and I just love Disney films anyway so yeah I think that is all of my March favourites Again, happy Mother's Day to all you lovely mums out there. I hope you're being treated very well today. Um, I hope you're all having a good day. Hello to all my new subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, there's a little button down there. I really do appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to. 
Um, again, all my social media links are in the description box down below. I hope you all have an amazing day and I shall see you all soon. Bye!